Nexus. The mastery of the Magna Kai skill will enable you to withstand extremes of heat and cold without losing endurance points and move items by your powers for con of concentration alone. Now keep in mind we still have the Platinum Amulet, so the heat and cold may not be such a, uh, a problem anymore, but the being able to move things telepathically is still an advantage. Divination we have, and that's it. So it's going to be between those. I'll put the, the um, list up. I'll have you guys debate over them, uh, and of course, it's it's also things to consider is which ones will complete what lore circles, what I have and what I don't have. For example, you may not think Psy Surge is a good move because it'll take endurance points away from me, but it will help me get the Circle of Spirit, which can greatly increase my combat skill and endurance. I'll cover that a little bit later. Uh, so, moving on. Equipment! Before leaving Desi on your journey to the Daranar, the Elder Magi give you a map of the Jungle Swamp, which is this thing right here. This, this thing. So we are starting um, somewhere. Like, oh, I think we start over here somewhere. And uh, we have to make our way to the swamp. Yeah, half the book is just getting to the swamp. And then once you get in the swamp, your map is pretty much useless. <laughs> ah, well. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Uh, Surrounding lands in a pouch of gold. To find out how much gold is in your pouch, we already have 19 plus 14. All right, that's not bad. We might be able. We might need this. So, uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at 29, uh, 33. There we go. Uh, da, 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 the Elder Magi offer you a choice of equipment to aid you in your perilous mission. You can take five items from the list below. Again, adding these if necessary to any you already possess. However, remember that you can only carry a maximum of two weapons and eight backpack items. Now, this I might actually put up a. Um, a vote for because we already have uh, a quiver of arrows we didn't use any arrows last time uh, so we already have we still have six arrows I didn't even mark it on my action choice we never used our bow in the last book how about that so we still have six arrows that we don't need to worry about um, I mean you could take another another quiver but it's rare that you use it more than six arrows in a book we have a sword we have a we have a better bow than that so However, we lost our backpack last book, which means we don't have any of our healing potions, a rope, anything, anything like that. So we have a rope, we have a potion of lamp sphere, plus four, lantern we don't need because we have the fire sphere, mace, three meals, dagger, and three fire seeds. Now I'm going to put all this stuff on for you guys to vote uh, because we, we need, we need, we need to replenish. We, you know, there's the rope, let's see, so five things, well actually, I don't know, maybe... I can take five things, so I don't need a sword, don't need a bow, don't need a quiver. Uh, so we need the rope, the potion, not the lantern, the meals we don't really need, the fire seed. You know what? Never mind. What's the point of putting up a vote? I'm sorry, guys, but when you can take five items, I mean, you're all going to vote for the same thing. So um, so I won't put a vote for that. We're just going to take the rope, uh, the potion of lamps for the, uh, the three fire seeds, um, and the three meals. I mean, there's no reason not to. So, hang on. So, I'm gonna have a rope. Get a rope. Um, potion. Potion. Plus four. <laughs> I lost all my potions. Fire seeds. I got three of them. Alright, um. One, two, three. And then, of course, three meals. And then what else? What else do we take? Well, we already have two weapons, so we can't. Why don't we just take another quiver? I mean, we can take five things. We, we can't take another weapon. We can always take another quiver. So, why not? We'll take another quiver. Um... Kind of running out of special, you know what? Now, as I say, I'm kind of running out of space for special items here. So, nah, we'll hang on to that. Uh, we'll just do the uh, three meals. I know I have hunt mastery, but uh, you never know. If you can afford to take them, always take them. Um, you never know when you might need them. 
All right, so we have our equipment. So I think the only vote's going to be for weapons and skills. Uh, do, 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 do. Don't need rules of combat. We all understand that by now. All right, levels of uh, training. We are going to be a principalin this book. Yay! Okay, lower circles of Magna Chi. I'll go over this again in case anyone doesn't understand them yet. Uh, when you complete certain skills, you uh, certain groups of skills, you get advantages to your combat and endurance. There's the lower circle of fire, which we've already completed, which is weapon mastery and hunt mastery. Circle of light, which we haven't completed, animal control and curing. Circle of solaris, which we haven't completed, which is invisibility, hunt mastery, and pathmanship. And circle of spirit, which is size surge, size screen, nexus, and divination. Um, here are the bonuses. Circle of Fire gives us plus one to combat, plus two to endurance. We already have that. Circle of Light is zero to combat, three to endurance. Uh, we're one away from that one. If you gave me animal control, we'd have basically an extra three endurance points. Circle of Solaris, which is plus one to combat, plus three to endurance. Uh, we're missing two from there. We need invisibility and pathmanship. And Circle of Spirit, which is plus three and plus three. Now, obviously, Circle of Spirit's the greatest advantage. That's also the hardest to get. All we have is divination. We're three away from it. Now, here's the question that you guys need to debate. And please debate. You guys didn't even try in the last book to converse with each other. Um, do you want to go for the quick fix? Like, for example, give me animal control and get circle of light to get an extra three point endurance points I can use now. Um, and I do believe this is a pretty difficult book. Or do you hold out... And try and choose skills that you, A, will think will be helpful in this book, and B, will help get us the other circles faster. Um, you know, like, hey, do you want to hold out and just try and get the circle of spirit? We will. One of these we will not be able to get. You cannot get all of them. By the end of the book, you'll only have three. So choose. Choose well. All right? Now we get to improve the disciplines. I'm just going to cover the new ones uh, for... Oh, for... To tutelary because that's what we are uh, it, it listed all the ones we got from the last book but uh, I'm not going to cover those again uh, I'm just going to cover tutelary weapon mastery uh, guys that have this ability uh, use defensive combat skills to great effect when fighting unarmed when entering combat without a weapon you will only lose two points from your combat skill instead of the usual four that's really useful we already have weapon mastery so yay invisibility uh, people with this ability increase the effectiveness of their skill by drawing the enemy's attention to a place other than that which they are hiding. The effectiveness of this ability increases as the Kai Master rises in rank. Also very useful. Pathmanship. With this skill, uh, can, can, can detect an enemy ambushed within 500 yards of their position unless their endurance score is low due to wounds sustained or lack of food. Cool. So you can sense a ambush coming if we choose that one. We don't have that one yet. Size screen. Uh, tutelaries with this skill develop mental difference. Uh, def uh, develop mental defense against magical charms and hostile telepathy. These defenses increase in strength. So basically, uh, not only will we block uh, mental attacks, but we can block things like charms, illusions, things like that. Uh, and divination, which we already have. Uh, if you possess this magical magnetic discipline. You're able to recognize objects or creatures with magical skills or abilities, although uh, they may not be able to... to if the creature or object is shielded from detection. In other words, unless they're shielded, you can tell if they can use magic or not. Alright? So these are increased disciplines, um, as because we're more badass than we were in the last book. Uh, and take that into account, too, when choosing a new skill for me. Okay, everyone? Well, that's it. Uh, get to the website. Get to voting. I'll, uh, I'll give you guys about a week. I'll do this probably next Thursday or Friday or so. And, um, yeah. Then I will see you guys in Book 8, Jungle of Horrors.